Hi, welcome to the Fight Ace channel. Malik Scott, a trainer of former World Heavyweight Champion Dante Wilder, is convinced that his word has the strongest chin in his weight category. American heavyweight Michael Hunter commented on the postponement of the third fight between the WBC World Champion in his weight, Tyson Fury and Dante Wilder. Hunter believed that Tyson did not have enough time to prepare, so he came up with a version with virus. Former IBF middleweight world champion Darren Barker shared his thoughts about the upcoming fight between the WBA, WBO, IBF heavyweight world champion Anthony Joshua and the mandatory challenger for the WBO title Alexander Usyk. According to the British veteran, Joshua will experience difficulties in the first half of the fight, but then he will tip the scales in his favor due to his size and power. The head of the top-ranked promotion company Bob Arum said that he will support the Ukrainian heavyweight Alexander Usyk in a fight with Anthony Joshua, but he doubts that the former leader of the first heavy division will be able to cope with the dimensions of the Briton. Ben Davison, the former coach of the WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury, shared his thoughts on how the WBA, WBO, IBF title holder Anthony Joshua needs to act in a fight with Alexander Usyk. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to the channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then you receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I am trying very really hard and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel. You are my support. Thank you so much. Malik Scott, the trainer of former World Heavyweight Champion Dante Wilder, is convinced that his word has the strongest chin in his weight category. He has a bad jaw in the division. Forget the last fight. In the first fight with Fury, Wilder took blows, but not in the way that other fighters in this weight category miss them. He is tall, long, and has an incredible head movement. When Dante wants to use it, he does not miss it, Malik Scott said. Recall that in the rematch with Tyson Fury, which took place in February 2020, Wilder lost by technical knockout in the seventh round, when his corner threw in the towel. At the same time, during the fight, the American was knocked down twice. On October 9, Fury and Wilder are scheduled to hold a trilogy. Initially, the fight was scheduled for July 24, but the British WBC world champion passed a positive test for virus, which caused the fight to be postponed. American heavyweight Michael Hunter commented on the postponement of the third fight between the WBC world champion in his weight category Tyson Fury and Dante Wilder. Hunter believed that Tyson did not have enough time to prepare, so he came up with a version with virus. We all know that Fury's preparation did not go very well, but this is not enough to cancel or postpone the fight. For me, this wall situation looks a little funny. On the first day, it was reported that someone from the team fell ill with virus. Then, after a while, we find out that Tyson is ill. All this seems suspicious. Now is the time when everyone uses virus for their own purposes. Therefore, it doesn't surprise me that this is the option Fury chose to postpone the fight with Wilder, Hunter said. Former IBF middleweight world champion Darren Barker shared his thoughts about the upcoming fight between Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk. According to the British veteran, Joshua will experience difficulties in the first half of the fight, but then he will tip the scales in his favor due to his size and power. It's going to be a tough night for Joshua. He needs to be patient, but I believe that the size and power of AJ will play a role in the second half of the fight. It is difficult to cope with him, and it seems to me that he will be too tough for Usyk. 
But at the beginning of the fight, we will see tricky periods. I think that Joshua Fury fight will take place. There is too much money involved in it, Darren Barker said in an interview. American heavyweight Michael Hunter predicts that the fight with the mandatory challenger for the WBO title Alexander Usyk will be a very difficult test for the WBA, WBO, IBF champion Anthony Joshua. I think it's a good fight for Anthony Joshua. This is a real test for him. This is one of the biggest challenges for Anthony. If he wins this fight, I will respect him very much, given the kind of fight Rusik is. Styles make fights. As for me, this is a very difficult fight for Anthony Joshua to take over and look like a dominator. Rusik thinks very careful about protection. I believe that the fight will be close and will reach the judges. Perhaps Joshua will get the advantage of the home card. But Usyk's boxing is at a high level, so it will be interesting to see this fight, Michael Hunter said in an interview. The head of the top-ranked promotion company Bob Arum said that he will support the Ukrainian heavyweight Alexander Usyk in a fight against Anthony Joshua, but he doubts that the former leader of the first heavy division will be able to cope with the dimensions of the Briton. Usyk is my friend because he's friend with Vasily Lomachenko. He is an amazing, funny and smart guy. It's against my economic interests, but I will support him in the fight with Joshua. I just can't help myself. A new era has come. We have never seen such heavyweights as now. We haven't seen a guy like Tyson Fury or take the Sam Joshua. They're huge. Evander Holyfield was a light heavyweight, then a cruiser and then a great heavyweight. But apart from Riddick both, he didn't have many big rivals. Mike Tyson was relatively small. In normal times, a guy like Usyk would have a very good chance. The odds in a fight with such a huge fighter like Joshua, the difference may be too big, Bob Arum told Sky Sport. Ben Davison, the former coach of the WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury, shared his thoughts on how the WBA, WBO, IBF title holder Anthony Joshua needs to act in a fight with Alexander Usyk. If Joshua wants to play a chess game with Usyk, trying to beat him intellectually, he may have certain problems. If Anthony uses his physics, sets a high pace and does not leave Usyk's space and time to think, then I think he will stop Alexander. But if Joshua gives Usyk space and time, it can cause him some problems. In certain aspects, Usyk can be called the best opponent in Joshua's career, in particular in terms of intelligence and IQ. But he's probably not a real heavyweight compared to these monsters in their division. So Joshua can either arrange a difficult night for himself, or it will not be easy for him, but it will be much easier if he uses his physics against Usyk, Ben Davison said in an interview. Former UFC lightweight champion Habib Nurmagomedov spoke about the upcoming title fight between Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua. The undefeated fighter believes that this fight is only a semi-final before the main fight of the division, in which the two best heavyweights of our time will meet, and also calls Tyson Fury the best boxer in history. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.